Guys, the days are starting. The raids are starting. This is when stuff starts getting intense. People are cannon raiding. They're going for outside bases that people leave offline for way too long. If you leave a base offline too long, this is going to happen to you. This base is prime real estate for somebody that wants some juicy loot. Nothing but heavies, plan X, and it's outside. These guys are keen to get in. Cannon raiding can be very cheesy, but at the same time, it can be super effective for taking out some of the defenses before you have to go soak the others. Their idea is to try and soak as well. But as you'll see, it doesn't work out too well for them. They're also planning to cut this base in half by destroying these two pillars that are holding up the top section so that when they, they can take out the forge, they can take out the whole top turrets. There, there we go boys. Speed is the answer. Oh, it's about to break. Let's go. She's dead. Next one. Next one that hits. Dead. There you go. <laughs> Next one. So in destroying the plan X, they're making it so that when they run the turrets or try and move in, it doesn't do extra damage, doesn't slow them down. They had to restock the sussing out where to go and how to oh, do it. They're getting counted at the same time. You'll find that a lot of the times when there's raids going on, people will try and take advantage of that and try and get some easy kits. They'll try and pick you off while you're raiding and cause as much trouble. Maybe even take the raid over if they like the raid and want it that much. This guy ain't going to do that. He's just a pteranodon. I think he's just trying to scavenge some loot. So now these guys are building up a little pillbox, which they probably should have done at the start. But they're now doing that and they're working on making it so no one can pick them. No one can actually do anything against them, which is smart. So this guy's waiting for the opportunity, but he's going to lose that opportunity if he doesn't go now. If they get this first turret down, then he can't do anything. Come on, mate, you got to do it. Now it's too late now, they've got heavies. You ain't going to do anything with that, mate. At all. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, come on, man. They're just like, bio arrow. This guy, I don't know what this guy's planning. It looks like he's going to try and run with C4 and have his mate grapple him in case he dies. But I ain't gonna work with the turret buff. He's dead! Bruh! <laughs> What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> you can't run that many turrets with the black you have! Dude, your best bet, destroy these two foundations, start building. Closer and closer. Put your f***ing trike on a ramp and soak. So when you die, your best bet is to try and grapple your body back. Try and get everything back. Sometimes you don't come with all the loot that you need to replace it, so you need to grab it and bring it back and realign. Yeah, my boy. My boy. During the whole raid, I was saying, these guys need to put beds down. I don't know why they haven't. They haven't put them down. They've done like half the raid so far because now they're planning to do something even bigger and they're prepping hard for it. You'll see. Oh, they did it while it's gone. What are they trying to do? I realized that they tried to PT spin, but they had C4 on them in their hands. Like they were trying to place it when they got there. I don't know how that was going to work considering the amount of damage they would be taking. Oh, it's an online raid. It's an online raid. Oh, can I capitalize on this? Very creepy. Perving on them while they're raiding. Come on, bro. What are you doing? There you go. You know how to do it. You know how to do it. See, they're not. They're pretty. They're pretty smart. This guy's got it done, right? Here they go. Dude, that was actually mad. That was a good try. It didn't quite work out for him. He got a rocket off, but it didn't do heaps of damage. But it's doing something. And that's what matters. If you push and keep doing that, you'll get somewhere eventually. I have to give them respect. They tried that. And now this guy is trying to counter him again. And he's done. He's done. He's dropped in turrets. He's dead. He's done. That's what you get. <laughs> Being a... Perfect. <laughs> so he's going to try again. This time he didn't get the rocket off. 
sadly. Or did he? Looks like there's a bag there. I don't know if that was old. <laughs> I have to be honest, it was so funny watching this and then this happened. Maybe. Uh, can we have like some of like the leftovers, the things you don't need? We're very poor. Okay, okay, man. I'll think about it, okay? Okay, uh, I'll type my name in chat. If there is anything you need, uh, sorry, if there is anything you guys don't need, please tell us, okay? Well, we really like <laughs> Yes, yes, we will. Just don't, just don't, uh, don't try and talk with us, okay? No, no, I won't, we won't. But when do we come back? When do we come back to you I guys? Will, I will see in chat. When I say your name, you go here. Wait, can you type something in chat? Yeah, yeah. You're struggling with it, though, okay. bro. Thank you so much. My guy is gonna come on uh, RG, don't kill him or I'll kill you. So with those guys gone and then promising to give him some loot if there's anything left over, I found that kind of humbling. Incoming! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, that one missed. What and this was a real legit strat. All they had to do was take out these pillars and the whole top section was gone. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to watch. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love this shit, dude. It's so funny. You guys get to see like angles of shit. So I waited and waited. And I think they ran out of cannonballs and they had to go back to base. One, it's only like one or two more shots. I bet you they run did they run out of cannonballs? That would suck. They're one cannonball shot away from, oh, from all the way downtown over here. They aimed it up perfectly, got the right fucking height, and it was hitting the smack on the one they needed. Here we go. With that dropped, they only have a couple turrets that are actually going to shoot now, plus Plan X. Go back, pick Oleg. With that in mind, I went off and had a look at, uh, uh, it was, a, it was a lava golem cave. And something happened here, I have no idea what this is about. Hey, let's go. Smart idea. Respect that. I respect that. Play this door. It's probably going to take the generator out because it's sticking through the fucking door. And it's GG. Or it'll just destroy the cable with this bow and the we'll turrets will be down. That'd be in. Is, if this guy logs on right now. So this guy decided to shoot his shot and run for the turrets again. He didn't know that the Plan X would do so much damage. He didn't quite make it. He made it to the door, but didn't get to put any C4 down. Oh, ho, ho, that grapple from across the world. We can do this this time. Nothing's going to kill you once you're here. Once you're at the door, you're at the door. And with that, they did their final run. Come on, be honest with me. How many of you guys did I get with that? <laughs> he just killed himself, but he got it down. GG. And with that, the raid was over. They get their loot. They finally succeeded. They did the run that they wanted to do. They got a fat lot of loot. And they could move on. These are the guys that live in the Blue Obby Cave, just down the way. And now, they're a little bit more thicker than they were before. So now, we're going to head over to the Double Waterfall. It's been buffed on this server. These guys are trying to raid it. There's nothing actually inside, it's just a tower. I don't know why these guys are raiding it. You can K mode and see there's nothing, but I think they're just destructive, maybe? He's not going to have much ammo in it. 
But every time you try and raid, you need to be careful because there will be somebody looking to take it over and to kill you. And that is exactly what this guy wants to do. The roll up with the what crew! Are doing? What are doing? Hey, leave me alone. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? I'll be honest with you, I'm not too sure whether this guy was putting on the accent or whether it was actually his accent. Later on it kind of seemed like he was putting it on, but this guy got stomped in the ground. He got double teamed by a fire and poison. He got destroyed. And you know what that means? They're taking over the raid. Oh, he's got his, he's got his wiving out now. His cradle is, there goes. Uh oh, run! Oh, it's them. He's already got him. He's already got him. It's part of them. The other guy's been stopped already. I realized they must have killed the guy because they got the stego. Oh, that's so funny. So they've stolen the raid and their raid dinosaurs. That's just, that's just brutal, dude. See, these guys are soaking correctly and they can soak with just non-mate boosted stegger that's probably not even in the film. What are you planning, bro? You were the guys that were just here before and got counted for this. So you got away. It's good to know. So you got your stegos away, but your boy got rinsed. It's like, why'd they have to do it? Why? Why'd they take my raid from me? Oh no! Another stego? Oh, a trike, bro! Let's fucking do it. That's a meme. I come from above. The guys are about to come in. They're about to counter. And now they're back for their revenge. These guys are the ones that got ambushed, and now they're back for some revenge. And I swear. This next part is one of the funniest things that happened in a while. Pocket Runners! Truck versus Runners! Hey, what's your daughter for? Oh, I fell. I swear, when you talk so much smack and then something like that happens to you, and you fail, it has to be some of the most embarrassing, but yet so funny situations caught in ARC. And those are the moments that you wish someone doesn't catch, but I caught it. And it's so funny. Like, it, oh my god, I was in hysterics for so long, I had to mute my audio. I'll give it to them though, they came back and tried to take it back, but these guys were just far above what they were, and they just got destroyed. Oh, he's dead. It's over. It's over. <laughs> oh, just can you, don't kill me, don't kill me, I don't got nothing. I just fly, flew above, don't kill me. It's so funny. This is actually so funny. Oh, he ain't, he got no chill. Duck got no chill. That's legit, bro. That is legit. That ra little raising area. All the breeders upstairs. So this is a little kind of quick base tour of the guys that actually ambushed the original tribe that was raiding. They got a nice little setup. But now, there's people always in the Lava Golem Cave. And sometimes you find and see some of the most funniest experiences you can have when it comes to PvP. These two guys were trying to go through the cave to try and take these guys out. And one guy came in with rockets and just went for it, dude. He went for it and just started rocketing everywhere. And then he killed Whoa. one of them. 
he killed one of them, and now it was 1v1. So now, he has to try and take the other guy out. So we set the rocket launcher again. And he goes for it. And his mate is now coming in from behind. Now it's a 2v1, opposite way. This guy is running for his life now. He knows what's coming. And with that, it was over. They won. Guys, let me know down below what your favourite part so far of this series has been. I've been trying my hardest to try new editing styles and kind of bring you a more exciting video. I hope you see that and it translates into the videos and you enjoy the ones to come.